And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan, once again bringing you my thoughts and review for last night's episode of DC CW Superman and Lois Season 3, Episode 7. Um, okay, so the last time we saw Superman and Lois, we found out that um, the woman with the swirly face who has like that sonic scream, we found out that she's actually the wife of Bruno Mannheim. And then when you watch in this episode, we get a kind of a flashback of like how they met, you know, why he wanted to do to help her out because she had the cancer. And um, he basically really wanted to change his community and help the people there and because he basically grew up there. And that was the gist of what Bruno Mannheim's scheme was throughout this whole so far of the season because we all assumed that he wanted to you know dominate the world or whatever it was with giving these people powers and maybe it makes them go crazy maybe it makes them benefit for him or something who knows we have no idea what exactly his end game goal is for this stuff but um we find that his wife you know, has cancer. She ends up being the person with the powers who is going around killing the former mayor of Smallville, attacking Superman. So we really don't know exactly too much about his wife. And I mean, is she really sick? We really just don't know. But um, it seems to see that Bruno Mannheim was actually trying to save his wife throughout the whole time. He wanted to get the property back, you know, the whole uh, community from the grip of Lex Luthor back when he was in power and you know all the, all the other people there didn't want to you know do that because they were scared of lex but bruno was like no we can do this we got to take we got to take it back now we make some kind of deal you can have you know metropolis we'll take this section of metropolis and just for us you you know call it even trade and that you know that was basically some of the flashback we also got some good stuff in this episode as well where the boys jonathan and jordan they go to the fortress to try to find a way to use Kryptonian DNA to try to save their mom, which doesn't go well for them, especially when Clark finds out that they, what they were doing. And um, obviously Lois is getting a lot worse, but she still has the spirit to be who she is. But she's also starting to feel like her powers of being the best journalist is starting to dwindle because of the effects of her chemo and also her cancers, taking away her ability to like... Ooh, I have a good feeling that this person is this person or vice versa. Now she's starting to question if anything she thought about Bruno Mannheim is actually true or not. So we'll see it from there. I still believe Lois will eventually get powers. I just don't know how. Now I'm starting to believe like, okay, maybe Mannheim was just trying to help his wife. Maybe he gave her power to try to keep the, the cancer maintained or something. You know, I feel like he was the only guy actually doing something. You know, but we, we just don't know. Apparently, according to Clark, if they find a way to cure cancer with Kryptonian DNA, he might, you know, he, he I don't know, he, he's afraid to share it with the world because who knows how that would turn out. So he gave that excuse to the boys. So the boys ain't still buying it. So um, we got a good moment between them and Lois and Clark about, yeah, like what's going to happen next after she's gone, if she's gone. The boys found her will, so they were like freaking out about it. We also got to see um, Steel dealing with the fact that now he's a father of a teenage girl who's going out with a boy. So we thought that was pretty funny. Due to the fact that we found out at the end of the episode, the boy that she's going out with, Natalie's boyfriend, is Mannheim's son. So, you know, kind of figured that's the only logical answer that that was going to be something. So, yeah, now he wants to invite her to his house for dinner. What does that entail for the next week's episode? No idea. Well, Mannheim figure out, oh yeah, oh, you're the daughter of Steel. He's gonna take advantage of that, you know? He's gonna take advantage of it because he knows that John is, you know, the guy in the metal suit, you know? I mean, he doesn't call himself Steel, but we all know he's Steel from the comics. But anyway, um, so that could be something in the next week's episode. Um, Lana's now trying to deal with the fact that her ex-husband is going out with Lois's, you know, uh, reporter friend. 
and her daughter is starting to, you know, be comfortable around her. So there's that. But um, this episode was mainly about Mannheim and his backstory about why he was doing what he was doing to save his wife and how much he loves her. And he would do anything for her. So we got to see all that. He even asked Clark because Clark went to interview him as just Clark Kent. And he's like, what would you do to protect Lois? You would do anything for her. Well, being Superman, you know, he, he still has that, like, yeah, I want to protect Lois, but how do I do it? If I give her powers, if I give her Kryptonian DNA, that could change her. That could make her crazy. That can change her in a way that maybe that won't be good for the planet. Who knows? But um, I thought the episode was very, very good. Once again, the story just continues to, you know, make sense, unlike other shows in the, in the Arrowverse. <laughs> That we have left. But um, yeah, it was a good episode. Excuse me. No Superman stuff, but um, it was a really good dramatic episode of the show. So I still enjoyed it very much. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Um, what do you guys think about Mannheim's end goal here? Do you really think he's just trying to help people cure of cancer? Or is he actually have a motive behind the whole... Yeah, I'm giving people powers to... See if it take away the, their, you know, cancer, but also trying to gain something. Like, what do you think he's trying to gain? And she's just trying to help out, trying to be nice. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Stay tuned for more. Thank you very much. And have a good day.